Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Ben Hayes bringing you our thought for the day on this Thursday morning in the first week of January. Um, as I asked you to pray yesterday for our country, I ask you to continue to pray today. Uh, we are still recovering from what took place yesterday, but God is more than able to bring the healing that is needed. The question is, whether we're willing to pray and do what's necessary to make that happen. We are the salt and the light. We're the ones called to be uh, transformational agents in this world. and That's what the church needs to do. Well, if you have your Bibles this morning, we're going to continue our journey through the book of Proverbs as we pray for our nation, as we pray for each other. And uh, we're going to pick up in uh, verse uh, 10 of Proverbs chapter 27. And if you'd like to follow along, uh, get your Bible out and, and do that. And let's spend some time in the Word together, focusing on what God would have us to understand about what we are and who we are as His children and how we should respond when things go wrong. Um, and it's a very appropriate verse for today. Uh, verse 10, Do not forsake your own friend or your father's friend, nor go to your brother's house in the day of your calamity. Better is a neighbor nearby than a brother far away. Well, let's look at what uh, we're talking about here. Uh, as we begin our, our to, to read the verse, he tells us not to forsake our own friend or our father's friend. And he's reminding us how important relationships are in this life. <clears throat> we all need friends. Friends who will help us when we are in need. Friends who will encourage us when we're discouraged. Friends who will be there for us. Uh, when things are good and when things are bad. We need to develop those relationships, maintain those relationships, not only with our friends, but look at what he says. Your father's friend. This is a generational thing. And one of the things that uh, we tend to forget in our modern day society is how important those who are from the previous generation are in our lives, the wisdom that they have. They've been there. They've done that. They know a lot more than what we do, <clears throat> and we should respect that. So it's important that we not only maintain the friendships of the people in our generation, in, in our circle, but we remember that our moms and our dads uh, have connections as well. And in doing that, we will find the support that we need. Yesterday, it was all about accountability. Today, it's all about support. Uh, because we find ourselves in situations constantly where we need someone who can lift us up, even if it's just in prayer, uh, even if it's just a word of encouragement, whatever it might be, we need that. And we find that in our friends. Now look at what he says. He says, nor go to your brother's house in the day of your calamity. Now, what's wrong with going to your brother's house? Well, typically in that culture, as well as in our culture, uh, brothers live far away from each other. If you remember the stories in the Old Testament that uh, these men were in, in tents and they uh, lived far from each other, even some who lived in the cities had brothers who lived way out in the country. And if you find yourself in distress, if you find yourself in a calamitous situation, the last thing you need to be doing is traveling long distances to get to a place of safety. So what do you do? King Solomon says, better is a neighbor nearby than a brother far away. So again, we're talking about relationships. It's important that we build relationships. I talked about this with my, my kids uh, this holiday season, how important it's going to be moving forward to, to be in a, a place where our neighbors uh, are there not only to encourage and to help and to support, but also for mutual protection. As, as we look at the violence and the turmoil that is going on in our world. And folks, I'm not a prophet, nor am I a son of a prophet, but I tell you that things are going to get bad, not because of the, the, the new president, not because of the new Congress, but because that's what the Bible tells us is going to happen. We are living in those last days when everyone is doing what's right in their own eyes. Everyone is searching to fulfill their own selfish needs and uh, I'm going to tell you, it's going to get bad. So we're going to need those relationships. And, and here's the thing. If you've got a brother that lives nearby, sure, that's the one you need to go to. But if your brother lives far away, you need someone that you can count on right now. 
immediately. And, and that's what King uh, Solomon is reminding us of, is the importance of maintaining those relationships. There's nothing worse than getting a phone call or an email or a text message from someone that you haven't spoken to in years, and the first thing they do is when they, they think of you, it's to borrow money or to get you involved in a business scheme. There's nothing that makes you feel worse. So if you're looking for someone who's going to help you in the future, and I know this sounds mercenary, I don't mean it to, to sound that way, but if you're looking for someone who's going to support you in any way in the future, you need to maintain those relationships now. And that's going to be uh, the, the important thing about life as we move forward in 2021. I hope that you have a blessed day today. Uh, I understand there's a possibility of snow tonight in North Alabama. Uh, so pray for those folks up there. Share this uh, video if you've been blessed by it, and let's see how many people we can reach in the days ahead with the hope that's ours in Christ Jesus our Lord. I love you, and I'm praying for you.